so this is the all new infinix sword 40i it looks very familiar right yes it does and that's because it looks like the infinix mat 8 and techno pop 8 that was released a couple of weeks ago do you also remember techno spark 10 pro spark 10c and the infinix or 30i the predecessor to the hot 40i these models share similar aesthetics and it seems like talking about the design of the hot 40i is like saying the same things over again as there is nothing new about this design that has been dragged from the beginning of 2023 down to the final quarter of the year and hopefully 2024 will all see something new from the brand Moving past the sticks, you have the standard USB Type-C port, a microphone and a single firing speaker grill. On the right side of the plastic frame is the volume rocker and side mounted fingerprint scanner that doubles as the power button. While the left as usual houses a dual SIM card and micro SD card tray and we have nothing at the top. Perhaps the second speaker could have been nice to be there just like you have on the Techno Spark 20 with dual DTS stereo speakers since both devices look the same. The Hot 40i comes with three good news for its price and the significant upgrade from its predecessor is the 50 megapixel rear camera and the 32 megapixel punch hole selfie lens against the 13 megapixel rear and 8 megapixel selfie from the Hot 30i. Yeah, this is a massive improvement from its predecessor. Next is the vibrant 6.6 inches 720 pixel LCD display with 90Hz refresh rate against the Hot 30i 6.5 inches display. The viewing angles looks great and scrolling on this device is a breeze. However, you still have a slightly thick bezels around the screen, especially on the chin part, which some of us will consider to be a deal breaker if you're nitpicking. On the software department, it runs on Android 13 with a touch of MIUI-like control sensor. Seems like Infinix has decided to take some customization from Xiaomi's playbook for its X-Race overlay. However, just like the Hot 30i with Android 12, I have no idea if this device will receive latest OS upgrade in the near future as Infinix is known for not upgrading its budget device Android version. We still have the standard 5000 mAh battery capacity in here with support for 18 watts of fast charging. The device runs on Unisoc T606 chipset, same weak processor found on the Hot 30i, the latest Smart 8 and Technopop 8 and supporting this chipset is 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard UFS 2.2 storage. And seriously guys, if you'll be looking to gaming on this device, I'll recommend going for the Techno Spark 20 or Redmi 13C with Helio G85 processor which will cost you a little more. But if you're on a tight budget and you care less about gaming, then this device is well worth its price. If you've got value from this video, do hit the like button so that YouTube can show this video to others. And also subscribe as we're looking to get to 5,000 subscribers before end of 2023. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you in the next one.